Well, hello there, Vinyl Maniacs. It is Nate for the Vinyl Guide Podcast. I'm doing another vinyl unboxing video today. This one from one of my favorite record labels around, <gasps> Flightless Records. Now, Flightless Records is a record label out of Melbourne, Australia, best known for the band King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Uh, they're on the label, but of course, there's also all sorts of other artists as well. Tropical F Storm, uh, Babe Rainbow, Grace Cummings. They have a lot of really good releases. So just about anything that comes out on Flightless Records, I like to check out because it's generally quite good. I also like all their packaging here. I love it when a company kind of puts a little bit of extra effort into the custom mailer boxes. But this is just the beginning. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to show you a few other tricks that Flightless Records likes to practice. Now, this is a record that just went on sale the other day. Quite often, Flightless Records, they'll have a limited run of 500 or 1,000 records. So you, you have to get in pretty quick. My recommendation is to be part of their Facebook group, and then you will know immediately when something goes on sale. And this record is Bullant. Bullant Tyson Crying. Now, let me go ahead and take this out here. So, Bullant is the solo project of Joey Walker, who plays guitar and vocals for King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. And uh, this is, I believe, the first solo album uh, of any member of the band. So, let's take a look at it first. Now, this is the way that Flightless Records um, uh, packages their records. It is 100% recyclable. There's no shrink wrap on them. They put all their records inside these um, cardboard slip cases. I'm not sure the exact term for them. Uh, and uh, each record, depending on the release, has a different stamp in the center of them. So this is the Bull Ant album. A uh, picture of Andrew Denton stamped here in the center. This is the Grace Cummings LP. Uh, beautiful album here. So it has a s different stamp here, but uh, this, I believe, is to prevent the um, shrink wrap, which are chemicals, which uh, are pollutants, which aren't biodegradable. So I applaud Flightless Records for going down this road. It's quite cool, quite interesting and innovative. So let's open the Bullant record. Now, sometimes there are some extra goodies inside these sleeves. Let me see. Can you see anything in there? No! Okay, well, it's just that. Inside the Grace Cummings, there was some stickers and stuff like that. So, thought that may have been the same here. Set this aside. So here we are, the Bullant album, Tyson Crime. And uh, it's very crisp, very nice. Uh, there is, uh, it looks like there he is, chomping down on some sort of food there. And there is the gatefold sleeve with a picture that uh, seems rather indulgent for a gatefold sleeve, but that's okay. No judgment here. And let's take a look inside at the actual record itself. Now, apparently this record was recorded in a single day. So um, I'm going to listen to it. I don't know if that's just a story, if that's the truth or whatever, but this seems to be the product of that very productive day uh, at the Flightless Records studios. Um, there it is. All right, it's a white vinyl. This is the first press. I believe there's 500 that were printed. I got in early. I believe they sold out within um, a few hours. So again, Go over to the Flightless Records Facebook, follow them, follow them on Instagram. They're on Instagram quite a bit as well, and you'll know whenever they put a new record up for sale. All right, that's it. That's pretty, uh, pretty plain package, but uh, it's the music that counts. There it is, Bull Ant Tyson crying from Flightless Records. Uh, for The Vinyl Guide, this is Nate. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast at thevinylguide.com. We always have interesting interviews and conversations with artists and influencers on vinyl records and music factoids, all sorts of interesting audio nerd stuff you may enjoy. All right. Take care, everyone. Cheerio.